Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday. That means market outlook time, FIFA 21, future stars. I wanna take a look at the market and especially how the market's being impacted by the upgrade SBCs that were released yesterday in FIFA. That is, that's impacting the market a lot, especially alongside with these future stars cards because some of these upgrade packs are pretty crazy and a lot of people are going out and they're doing those packs and I think what's that what's that causing is it's causing people to actually sell some of their investments and sell some of the future stars cards that they were trying out and instead going and opening some packs and trying to you know see what they can hit in a few packs so I want to take a look at some of these prices right a lot of these future stars are down and I think this is some potential um, for a possible buy scenario where you might see them kind of bounce back into the week if the content is slim and honestly i think you'll see them bounce back a decent amount regardless just because these guys are pretty hyped up and so many people want to try them so we're looking at guys like sabosolite right this guy was well over 700 000 coins this weekend he's down to 645 kulusevsky is 500 000 coins he was up towards 580 at least 550 uh like all day on on saturday and most of the day on sunday honestly this guy was like 550k but I think also what happened was these guys got supplied a little bit during squad battle rewards. So the combination of the selling that happened when the SBCs came out. Let me show you a couple graphs here um, with this Diogo Dalo, which is a card a lot of people I think are investing in because of his links to the objective Tonali. He was 76k today before the upgrade SBCs came out. He dropped down to 70k and has since kind of rebounded back to 73, 74. And same thing happened with Lunin. Um, he was about 63, 64K, and he dropped down to, I think, like 58. Yeah, he was like 64K, dropped down to like 58, 57K, and is now kind of bounced back. So this kind of created another window if you wanted to buy in on a couple of these Future Stars cards that were really on the lower tier end. Now, some of the high tier end guys, like we were talking about, Kulusevsky, 500K, 1.59 for Reyna. Isak is literally the cheapest that he has been on the market. Kamavinga at 2.2 is the cheapest that he's been. Dest is 350. Reese James 495. Actually, Harvey Barnes is really, really cheap uh, right now as well. I think that there's a potential, especially with just the amount of hype that these cards have uh, for being brand new items on FIFA. I think there's some potential that people will go out and buy these cards into the beginning of the week. And I think you might see cards like this Bergwine, who's just super duper rare, right? 1.03 mil is as cheapest on the market right now. I mean, this guy was 1.25 literally uh, a day and a half ago. 1.25 million coins for 89 Bergwine during the weekend league. Now, of course, 1.031, you see a couple overnights there listed as well. Um, you know, I think these guys could get bought up again this week as people just want to go out and try them. They just want to go out and try the cards. Now, of course, this is the Market Alec video, so I want to kind of start off by looking at these types of cards. If you don't want to risk it with the stuff that is in packs, I 100% think there is some stuff that is out of packs right now that could possibly rebound a bit. Now, team of the years are kind of just chilling. Some of them are at the lowest they've ever been, with that being Lewandowski and Kevin De Bruyne. I think those are two cards specifically that are literally, I don't think they've ever been lowered, maybe even during lightning rounds and stuff like that. Lewa at 2.43, De Bruyne at 2.1. Those guys are very, very cheap right now. Maybe a little bit of a bounce back on some of those. But what I would say is, if you're looking for stuff that is low and you don't want to buy the Impact's Future Stars, Take a look around the market at cards that are out of packs in forms that rose very well literally this past weekend league, right? Now, of course, make sure I, I like Syria. I know, think, think about what's coming upwards this week, right? I think a lot of people are right now investing in some of the La Liga links. And like this Lang Lake cards, 162. Varan is getting an inform this week. Now, I don't know if this card isn't getting, you know, bought up at all because of the Jordi Alba man of the match card, which by the way, that guy got bought up a bunch uh, tonight. But this this guy is actually really high right now. 162. It looks like he might have been kind of in, getting invested in post rewards time frame, maybe for a link investment to an upcoming Varan or possibly um, maybe just, uh, you know, French links. I'm not sure what's going on with that Langley, but if there was stuff that was up this weekend, especially if it's road to the finals, especially if it's cards like this, like I'm pretty sure Rebic was like one, 170 K during the weekend a little bit. He's now 186, but he's probably going to hit like 200 K in the next couple weeks or so. 
if the market continues on this trend. So what I would say is look around the market for stuff that is down from where it was on the weekend and pick that up for a potential flip. Honestly, it's a rare card. If it is a rare card, um, for sure, that's one thing I would look into. You know, I was kind of looking at this rule record breaker, John and Sancho, 320,000 coins. I've got a couple of those. This Donnarumma record breaker actually as well. Um, this guy was extinct almost all weekend being one of the best Serie A keepers in FIFA, if I can actually type in his name, uh, Gianluigi Bona, Bona, Donnarumma. I think right now he's not extinct though. He's actually showing up at 145 possibly on the market. And uh, this guy's probably gonna be extinct again. So if you could snag him on a bid or on a snipe or something like that, that might be a move if you can do it under like 140K or so. And then again, I'm kind of watching the Sancho card because not really investing in like the possibility of leak investment, like linking to another future star that could possibly come out. Honestly, I just like this card because it's rare. We have a lot of English links going on right now with the new future stars players, with the right backs situation with Rooney. And of course, we have got Reyna in the game right now. We have got uh, potential for a, a Bellingham card to come out with the next set of future stars. So that's kind of why I like this Sancho. I mean, he was over invested in last week. I think he easily go back to 350 though, which is why I bought a couple of him uh, in the game. But don't just look at those cards, right? Look at record uh, rule breakers, road to the finals, just out of packs in forms. Let's see, what do I have in my transfer list, right? Not saying that you need to go buy these cards that I have in my transfer list, but like the Sancho is one that I was taking a look at. This Insigne in form, um, you know, he is a uh, links to the objective cards are probably going to do really well. Some of your Syria Italian links, your Milan links, if any of the Teo Hernandez cards are down, which the Teo Hernandez team of the group stage card, the Europa League team of the group stage card, that card has been down like all weekend. I'm trying to snag this Insigne as close to like 110 as I can, especially on bids and stuff, because this guy was like high 120s all weekend. He sells great for lazies because he has multiple informs. And uh, he's he's literally like the only left wing in the Serie A. So I kind of like that card. As you can see here, I do have some Dalos. I do have some Lunins, of course, hoping for kind of a rise with links and upcoming cards on those. Uh, and just, just the hype cards in general, right? Just, these are just really, really hyped up cards right now. That's why I've got them. That's why I'm listing them up. Uh, and I'm kind of just flipping with the rest of my coins. Now, this week for content, right? Think about what we could have coming this week. I would expect a couple more player SBCs. EA has been doing, honestly, this content, this promo has been pretty solid. We've got the 85 plus double, which I haven't even opened mine yet. Uh, we've got Rian Brewster and of course the Bruno player pick, the Bruno G player pick. I would not be surprised if we had like one or two more SBCs, potentially a flashback SBC coming this week. We haven't had one yet. I could, they could really drop a big one if they did like a flashback to a Militao or a flashback to Ferlin Mendy, that could be an SBC that would move the market like crazy. And it seems like EA wants to put out good content during this promo because again, these 81 plus player picks are correct. We opened a bunch on stream earlier today. People are getting insane cards, a ton of future stars, good SBC fodder in general. Like I did I did four 81 plus player picks and I packed Thiago Silva and Trent Alexander-Arnold gold cards in 87 and in 85 out of four player picks. That's incredible value if you can keep up that sort of form and consistency through these player picks. You're just getting really cheap fodder for that price, right? It's like 8K to do this SBC. I think some of the, the non-rares, the commons, and the golds are up in price right now, maybe a little bit down actually after squad battle rewards, but I'm pretty sure people were buying uh, gold cards for like a thousand coins because people were going out and they were crafting a bunch of these SBCs uh, just because they were they were so good and they were paying out so much. So I think right now you're seeing some of the gold cards, uh, they, some of them were like insta-selling for like 800 coins earlier today. Now it's about 700 coins for all the non-rares, which technically right now, if you were going to do gold pack method, that might be something that could work this week. Um, you know, a lot of guys like to grind bronze pack method, gold pack method might be a really good thing to kind of look out for this week. But again, SBC content wise, I'm thinking this week, it's gonna be a probably another one or two player SBCs. I would not be surprised if we had another icon SBC come out as well. Um, and one thing I do think we'll be on the lookout for this week is since the swaps and the season is ending this coming Friday, this coming Friday could be a massive day on foot. Team two of uh, future stars, a new season, possibly new icon swaps, possibly the first set of prime icon moments 
coming into packs this Friday as well. So I'm very curious to see how that all plays out. But we also have this base mid icon that's out for 11 days, but the mid icon only SBC expired. So I would not be surprised if we had a new one uh, coming this week uh, for one of those. And I think we're going to have some more player of the months coming soon as well. The La Liga uh, was already out with the um, El Nesri, I think his name is. Yeah, El Nesri or El Nesri is out. Uh, Bundesliga and Premier League should be coming decently soon. The Premier League vote is out, so that might be something we see this next coming Friday. Uh, and then icons themselves. I think we're due some new icons. One day, 13 hours for Akocha, Carlos, and Cannavaro. Uh, and then Barnes, Hierro, and Torres have four days left. So, um, you know, of course, Kaká, Keen, and Michael Owen have 21 days left. But I would not be surprised if we had more icon SBCs coming out this week as well, which which makes me think about SBC fodder, which technically right now you would say is kind of high, right? A lot of these cards are kind of high. 86s are 26, 27,000 coins. 84s are 9K. Even with the squad battle reward supply tonight, a lot of these guys are up in price. Now, some guys are down though. Some guys are down a little bit. Oblak was like almost 80K earlier. He's down to 74. I think Allison was close in the high 60s. So some of the stuff has maybe dipped a tiny bit with squad battle rewards, but not much, honestly. And I don't see that changing. I see a lot of fodder staying expensive because we have good SBCs that are out right now. And if, if they keep putting more SBCs out, if they keep putting up icon SBCs or, you know, they had an 85 double upgrade, maybe later on during Future Stars, we'll get a guaranteed Future Stars SBC. I would not be surprised if that happened. Um, but honestly, for this week, it's probably going to be a couple SBCs. We'll see if EA drops some mad content like um, alongside of future star wise. I don't really expect another objective. Um, but again, I, I we've been saying it for the past couple weeks, but this week is really going to be a good one to trade, right? It's really going to be a great one to trade on the market. People have coins, they're buying cards, they're motivated to make coins, and you're seeing fluctuations on the market. Now this Quadrado, I want to talk about man of the matches right now. Because Man of the Match cards got invested in heavily tonight. Jordi Alba's Man of the Match card went from 100,000 coins all the way up to um, 122K, I believe. He went from 100K where he's kind of been chilling all day. And he's now up around 120,000 coins, which is a massive rise. A lot of people were looking to buy these cards tonight as investments. They already went up from where they were like Friday from Saturday night, honestly into today on or into Sunday and then into today on Monday. I think these guys are a little bit over invested in even Ocampos. This Lucas Ocampos guy was literally uh, 20, what? He was like 22, 23,000 coins earlier this weekend. And now he's up to 30K with a lot of people investing in these man of the matches because they saw what they did last week. Now I feel like there's a lot of people right now that are investing in the team of the week that are investing in man of the matches and investing in links to an upcoming inform that we're all expecting later this week. That is inform Varan. I think we're all expecting an inform Varan, uh, and you're seeing people already start to invest in ca cards like inform Courtois, inform uh, Valverde, and yes, that stuff could potentially be profitable. But this Courtois was 170,000 coins. He's now 200k. I don't know how I feel about this stuff. I think it's going to get overinvested. When Varon comes out, it might actually drop and then rebound after that. So we're going to be kind of looking for market movements like that this week with cards on the game. Now, of course, if EA released like a Ferlin Mendy flashback or a Militao flashback, that would be very interesting and that would move the market for sure. So that's what I, I feel like the, a, pl a flashback player SBC this week and or a um, some sort of icon SBC repeatable something like that would be what would really, really impact this market. But, but but with that being said, I still feel again that this market is just very interested in these future stars items. They want to try them out. They want to see if they're good in game. They're willing to do that. So like this ESOC card is down a lot today, right? If I'm comparing his price, how many pages to 130K do we have here? We got four, we got five, six pages with a lot of overnights to like 130,000 coins. If I saw these pop up at 120K flat, 121, I might get tempted, right? I might get tempted to try to, to quick flip some of these future star items. Now, I like the higher tier ones the better. Uh, I like the higher tier ones better for sure because, you know, you could get a Bergwijn like this for about a million coins, maybe on a snipe tonight. He's 1.03. Maybe you get one on bid for a mil. And then you, you, you never know. If it's a quiet Monday today, this guy literally could rebound. 
you know, back up to his 1.025 right there. He could literally rebound up to 1.1 mil as people are trying this card out. People are still going to be using these cards and having fun with them and testing them out because they're brand new and they just have everybody's eye right now. They just have everybody's eye. They are down a little bit. Of course, people are going to be doing upgrade packs this week as well. So again, we're talking about those non-rare golds and those rare golds. I would expect those prices to stay higher, even if we do get pack supply SPCs, just because so many people are going to want to do those. So if you want to try any of these future stars, I feel like uh, early on Monday, I would I would say this might be one of our quote unquote, we talked about this as a, a possible buy time. Um, I think honestly, if there's no content this week, this might be some of the lowest you'll see. Of course, some of these guys were lower in packs, but um, you know, unless we get crazy content later this week, the buy time for some of these cards, especially like Dest, look at Serginho Dest, man. This guy is down at 358K, 358. And this guy was 400K on the weekend. Now, Reese James is 490. That card is very in demand. He has a lot of hype um, and he's not dropping as much because of that hype. He's just also very rare. So I think these cards will bounce back a decent amount. The more rare ones and of course the more hyped up ones will bounce back um better but again it's just going to be another week of people in this market have coins they're going to be investing they're going to be buying we'll look out for like link S link link investments to possible cards that could come out we'll be trading of course fluctuation trading icon trading is going to be solid um heading out of the weekend league i always love the icon trades because a lot of open bids happen you can catch a lot of cards for really good deals like i sold this petite last night at 1277 it looks like he right now is like 1185. If I would even consider getting involved with like a 112, knowing that I could probably sell that later in the week at a 1.22 or higher. So just keep an eye on the icons as well. And some of your rare special cards, you can see I've been watching this Sancho. I've been watching this record breaker Mertens, trying to snag him at like 360, you know, low 370s, because he can fluctuate up to 400K and you can get sales there, right? And watch the open bids on some of these really rare cards. That's a great place and a great way to make some coins as well. So all in all, the market outlook for this week is we're just inside of future stars. It's a big Friday ahead with potential team two content, um, potential content with, of course, these new second versions for Reyna, for James, for Dalo. Um, I'm thinking again, Tuesday night at midnight UK time will be when the man of the match cards go out of packs. So if you're investing in those, that could be a time frame where you see them kind of go out of packs and be gone from that. Um, so kind of keep that in mind. But honestly, this week, it's yes, it's future stars. There's a lot going on. Uh, pe people are going to be doing this moments tonali as well. So, you know, I mentioned that too. Keep this card in mind because a lot of people will grind this SBC. That's why you're already seeing a lot of Italian links and a lot of AC Milan links go up because Syria is already kind of hyped in FIFA the way it is. But then, of course, you have this card in objectives, and that's going to be a card a lot of people are going to try to fit in their teams, in my opinion, because that is an insane card to be giving out through objectives. That's why I've been keeping an eye on this Teo Hernandez. If I see like two, uh, he's already up a little bit. If I saw like 270 for this or two, 280 flat, I would get interested again because this guy was that price kind of all weekend. Um, and I think he's gonna be bouncing back up now this week because all of his other cards are up. If you look at uh, Teo Hernandez's second in form, if you look at his, um, his headliner card. He's a very popular card in FIFA and his card price is up tonight. So I would keep an eye on this guy. If you could see him in like the 280s, that would be fantastic for him. And just keep an eye on these future stars as well. And the team of the week, I want to say one last thing, right? This current team of the week, team of the week 19, I think it's over invested in. And I think we're going to see fluctuation with these cards purely because it is over invested. These guys were too cheap earlier this weekend, but people caught on and they started buying them up. Delaney was 135, he's up 20K. Malinkovic Savage was like 85K, he's up to 100. Cancelo is up 25,000 coins, massive rise on him. Lautaro isn't up a ton, uh, but I don't think many people are investing in him just because he is a lot more expensive. And of course, there's other options out there with, you know, links to Dybala are like one thing that are very, um, I guess you could say intriguing and appealing about that card. This guy's up 5,000 coins a card. This guy's up like 4K. This guy's up like 4K. Salah was like 1.02. He's now 1.12. So a lot of the team of the week has bounced back and has rebounded as well. So if you feel like you missed the boat on some of the stuff, I wouldn't say that you've missed the boat, right? Go on the market, go through some of those team of the weeks and look at cards 
that just might flat out be low, whether they're high tier, whether they are middle tier, rule breakers, record breakers, team of the year honorable mentions. Oh, I want to make a point about this. These guys are so rare. This Marquinhos literally just keeps going higher. Um, 200K for this Marquinhos. Don't even sleep on a guy like Immobile, right? This Immobile card was like 290 all weekend. If I saw 280 for this, I would probably buy it because these cards are so rare that they're going to continue to fluctuate. They're going to be great buys. Uh, Fakir in the, I don't know, 290. Is he around there? Nah, he's over 290. Two, he's 300,000 coins at the moment. So like Fakir, Robertson, Jesus Navas, all of these team of the year honorable mention cards, they're so rare. Uh, how much is Rabo now? Rabo is like still 470. Wow, 480? 480K for Rabo. Crazy, crazy high on these cards. They fluctuate around a lot because they're so rare. Keep an eye on those this week as well. Not just for like investments, but just to trade and to flip. Uh, these guys are going to be perfect to do that because they are so rare. So keep an eye on those cards as well. This Jesus Navas is up, right? He's been in the 120s. Right now he's 135. So a lot of these guys move around. Uh, they might be invested in a little bit, but definitely keep your eyes on those. It's going to be a great week to trade. It really is. And the content seems to be taking a turn for the better with this promo being out. The only worry I have about the market this week is that so many people submit so many coins trying to pack future stars if these 81 plus packs are indeed as cracked as they seem to be. That's my only slight worry. Um, but we'll kind of monitor that throughout the week this week with prices where they go, depending on the content that EA puts out. But that's kind of the market outlook for this week, boys. Friday's a really big day with a lot of unknowns, depending on what content EA wants to drop with season three ending. If you haven't got to level 30 yet, maybe this is your last chance to kind of grind there. Tonali objective people will be working on this week. Market movements alongside with the Future Stars cards and possible flashback or more Future Stars player SBCs coming out this week as well. Icons possibly thrown in there. We'll see. But we'll be here to cover it all, of course, throughout this week in FIFA. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.